Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem determine if two strings are close or not. So two strings are considered close if you can attain one from the other using the following operations. So the operation one is swap any two existing characters. For example, if we have a string one A, B, C, D, E, then if we try to swap B and E, then it will become A, E, C, D, B and the operation 2 we can transform every occurrence of one existing character into another existing character what does it mean if we have this string a a c a b b b so we can convert all the a's so right now we have three a's and two b's so we can convert all a into b and b into a so this will become b b c b a a so this is what the second operation the transform operation now you can use the operation on either string as many times as necessary and given to string word1 and word2 we have to return true if it is possible to convert word1 and word2 in are close and false if it is not so how we will solve this problem first of all let's say if the length of the string is itself not same in that case we can't do anything even if we try to use this operation one and two multi any number of time we can't achieve one from another so that is the first straight forward case if length is not same return the false now after that as you can see we can basically swap any character so let's take the example this a b c and b c a so we have this string a b c and b c a so let's try to start operations like operation one or operation two on a string one so this is our word one let's say write shortcut word w1 and w2 so if i swap this so first if you see c is on, on the second place so if i swap this first i will use the operation one and swap b and c this will become a c b then what i can do we can transfer this a to b and b to a so if we do that this will become v c a which is the word 2 hence we are able to convert word 1 into the word 2 so they are close with the using two operations like first operation 1 and then operation 2 but we can also apply the in different form there are uh, many other ways we can generate but yes we, this is the one way and we are getting the answer so what needs to be focus here so first of all as we can swap any character from anywhere so which means we should have the frequency of the characters equal it's so not the same character but the we should have the character so let's say we will have only a small a to g 26 possible character in our string then let's say we have some character present in that like a b c d in string one word one and let's say here is a frequency map and similarly in word 2 we have the word 2 and uh, in word 2 also we should have all the presence of these all characters a b c d only first condition is that like there should be a unique presence of each character in both these string once it is there satisfied then we should have the frequency like let's say a is 2 in is 1 1 3 and here it is let's say another one now in second string we if we have one okay and we can have two and c can have one and d can have uh, we can have uh, three so if we have this if you see like a we have here two and here we have two and similarly b here in one and the a here one so we can transform a to v like that so this will give us uh, the same count of a and v in the second string then similarly for c c is there and d is there and d here in this second string word 2 is 3 while in word 1 is c is 3 so we can transform this c to d and d to c so once we transform it this will become d3 here and c will become 1 which is same as our word 2 similarly here a will become 1 and v will become 2 so this is same as in our word 2 hence so what we need to see if you see we can use the any transform and we need to only check the frequencies of occurrence of the characters is same in any any character can have a frequency same with any other character first if it is then we can transform them using the operation 2 so let's say in word 1 if i have the character a 
let's say five times and character v three times and in word two i have the character v uh, five times and character a three times then we just transform them to each other so this will become the same as the word one so we first of all for solving this what we will do we will iterate through the array and calculate the frequencies in the array of all the 26 characters for both the string so f1 for string 1 f2 for string 2 and also for tracking the whether which character is present we will also use another array which is we can use the integer array or boolean array we will track the which character present in our string so it's uh, now you must have got the idea how to solve this so let's start the implementation now so if the word one dot length is not equals to word two dot length if it is the case then we will state forward return false like it is not possible to make this word one and word two as a close and other case we will use the array frequency array f1 for the word one which is of new int of 26 for 26 a to g character similarly we will also create another f2 frequency for new int of 26 this is for the frequency of word 2 similarly here let's take the uh, boolean array for whether presence of boolean array for the 26 character itself to mark the presence so let's call it as uh, uh the v1 as a new int of uh, it should be a boolean boolean of 26 character again similarly we will also create v2 for the uh, second word so this is done now what we will do we will iterate the string int i is equals to 0 i less than any word we can take the length because both of them same will once the code we share so this will be the case now we will update the frequency in f1 first so this will become uh, word1 dot caret word1 dot caret i and the subtract to make it index zero base subtract the character a plus plus so this is for word frequency one now copy paste it and this update for frequency two from the word two and also copy paste and make the presence of v1 which is just uh, the index of v1 is same instead of plus plus we will just mark as a true is presence or not so true boolean and copy this again and mark for update for the presence of the character in the word 2 with the v2 or in the v2 array once it done now we have to just first we will sort the frequency array arrays dots using the arrays dot sort method f1 Similarly, we will also sort the f2. So, and in the end, we just return if arrays dot equals. We are using a equals method from the arrays class. So, this will be f1 comma f2. If these two are equal, and also arrays dot equals the v1 and v2. The presence of each character is same. Then we will return true. Otherwise, any one of them fail, we will return the false. So, this is the implementation of the approach let's try to compile it is working for the one of the test case let's try other test cases let's say length is not equal and these another test case this so this will become so just try it let's see if it is working for the example test cases then we will confident enough now we can submit the code and see so it is accepted so the time complexity of this solution as you can see we are just scanning the string uh, to, so the length of the string will be n then o of n and the space complexity as you can see we are using just constant array so it's constant and time complexity is o of n and if you see this is just 26 and log n so it's not impact our original time complexity because n will be a big number also. so if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching